How's it going, YouTube? It's Moonlight here, and we are back with another Demon Souls episode. And in this one, we are going to be uh, tackling Upper Latria. Uh, sorry about the long time in recording. Uh, got kind of busy with work and stuff. But uh, we are back. And I think I already went this way in the last episode right before our... Uh, the time ran out, so don't remember exactly what was over there, but uh, the whole point of Upper Latria is to get through this level and operate these uh, elevators, kind of, and and uh, get down to the bottom or to the top, I think, actually. Uh, the main enemy in these in this level are uh, the gargoyles. Um, I th think that mostly the gargoyles are weak to magic. It's either magic or fire. So, um, took like four or five hits to kill it with the magic. So we're going to try fire next. See which one does better. Can't remember exactly what they're weak to. Excuse me, I had a sneeze. That fresh spice is going to be useful. Um, I don't think either one of these two are active. Uh, after you kill one of the uh, gargoyles, you uh, stay behind for just a moment because they... Uh, will drop a uh, soul item it's not a very good one but every little bit of souls counts so with some age spice it's also nice since i have a feeling we're going to be using a lot of magic in this episode not something i need but Got another soul item. Okay, so just by doing that, I can definitely tell that they are weaker to uh, magic. I'm going to turn my headset down a little bit. That was kind of loud. Okay, hopefully that's better. Uh, I don't think it's too loud for y'all, but in my headphones, that was extremely loud. Uh, he, he'll get close to you and then he'll run away. Like that. Oops. I meant to do this. There we go. And I think I still have the yeah, I still have the Sorval Coronet on. And the Fragrant Ring and the Clean Ring. Uh, yeah, I want the Fragrant Ring on. That's going to restore my uh, magic over time. So definitely going to keep that on. Uh, this Moonlight stuff is not useful to me, but... I think it raises... Uh, the power of your magic uh, weapons. So if you're still using like the Crescent Falchion or something like that, uh, that's really useful for that. Break that. Awesome, another hero. So uh, we'll be coming right. Uh, we'll be coming back uh, here because right now uh, we can't get through. But we'll be coming back because there's some useful items in there. But. We'll be coming back for that. So 
So now that we went that way, we are going to go this way. Uh, this level uh, isn't too hard or too confusing. Um, the boss here can, is pretty difficult, though. It's, um, I forget the name of it exactly. But it's a double boss fight, so you'll want to try to kill the first one as quickly as you can. Because uh, they will double team you if you're not careful. I'm trying not to drop here without falling off. There we go. And got the rune shield and the sword. Uh, this is the same weapon and shield that uh, Astrava from uh, Archstone One will is using. Um, it's an okay. If, if you're a magic user, it's better. But uh, looks like this. It's just a short sword or a long sword. I'm not sure which one, but it looks pretty cool. Um, not very strong weapon, but it definitely does look cool. And the uh, rune shield, um, it's pretty cool. It's really strong against magic damage, but it doesn't have very good guard break. So, have to keep that in mind. Uh, this is the path to go, but we're going to go over here uh, real quick, if we can. Um, it might not be on this part. Okay, we'll have to get rid of these uh, hanging things first before I can go over that way. But there's an item over there that we'll, we will definitely be grabbing. But this is the way to go for right now. Uh, the way to tell uh, if these gargoyles are uh, real or not is to hit the lock on button and obviously if you don't lock on they're not real. Um, I think there's another way to do it. Um, I think if they're on that pedestal and they're moving, like their wings are moving or something, I think that's another way to tell. But uh, don't quote me on that. No, sir. You will not be hitting me today. And then, like I said, you can see that one up there is alive. I'm just gonna go at it with the shield up. And I honestly do not know if there is, uh, if you can backstab the gargoyles or not. I don't think I've ever tried. Uh, right here, you gotta be really careful, just kind of hug the wall. Because uh, the Age Spice, if you're a magic user, is really useful. Um, you can always buy it if you don't feel comfortable. But um, the less things you have to buy, the more souls you can use to level up. And uh, this is the main, once we get up the stairs. Uh, be careful going through here, because the gargoyles will uh, spawn behind you on these stairs. Oh, I lost the soul item. Uh, be careful going up these stairs. Gargoyles will fall behind you. Go over here real quick. I think there's an item over here. Haha. -ha. For me not playing this game for a while, my knowledge of where all these items are is on point. There's another gargoyle somewhere. I can hear it. I think it's on. It'll spawn behind us going up that elevator. So just kind of keep your shield up.
Yeah, you can hear the wheels. Ow! Asshole. Damn it. Keeps moving, I think. Keep my magic. I'm gonna lose another soul item, but oh well. Go ahead and heal up a little bit. Uh, the only problem with this level is there's not a whole lot of, uh, like, consumable items, like grasses and stuff, in this level. And uh, this is our main objective, to kill these guys, because they're powering this the chains that are uh, holding this creature up. You'll see it. But you break these chains. And the chains are holding up that creature, which is keeping us from receding in the level, so. Is this the right one? Uh, yeah. Uh, later on, after I beat uh, this boss, this world should be in pure white. And we'll be able to uh, scale these stairs and uh, get the key that's going to free... Uh, I think his name is Raydell. Uh, back in the first level of the Tower of Latria. Uh, this uh, soul item is right here, kind of uh, leading you, kind of helping you figure out which way you need to go, which is this way. Uh, don't hop into the elevators. Uh, just yet because we're gonna go down here uh don't worry uh you have uh what i'm gonna do is you have to fall off here um you can't get back up but there's some other elevators here that we can take and i think we can unlock the cell for this guy are you here to fight the demons if so and help me escape this place. I am on your side. I have come to face the demons. Um, I forget what this guy's name is, but he will, uh, if you let him free, he'll go um, into the Nexus and start killing uh, NPCs in the Nexus. So um, if you want to open the cell, uh, you can. Um, I'm going to do it because I'm going to push him off. But if you want to uh, keep him, if you don't want to kill him and you don't want him to kill your NPCs, you can just say no. But I'm going to say yes because I want to let him out so I can kill him. But uh, this is the way to kill him. Well, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to push him off. He's quite tough. Okay. You need to get away from me, sir. Damn it. Now that I wanted to push him off, well, now that I don't want to push him off, I want to fight him. Why? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, thank God. Uh, this is what I wanted from him. Uh, you can get the, the armor set he was wearing. Uh, that's what I wanted from him. I was afraid it was going to fall off and I'd have to see if I could find it. Cause it's gonna, it was going to fall all the way down there and I was going to have to see if I could find it. But um, after you kill him, um, like I said, there's no way to get back up there to the other, other elevators. But uh, you can step into his. And it'll close and it'll love, it'll uh, take you down. Which is what we want to do. It's a very long elevator. It's like a pulley system type of thing. Because once we go up, uh, you can kind of see the other elevators. Uh, they go up. And I uh, don't worry. Uh, this uh, goo that we're in is not poison, so you're safe to 
walk in it, but there are other critters around right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up this way. Oh, don't worry, these things are not tough um, at all. But there's a bunch of them here. And especially these, uh, these little ones. You just gotta watch out for the, like, scorpion, like, tell. Because that's how they do their damage. And the main reason why I'm killing them is because the noise they make, you can probably hear them, is highly irritating. Something's telling me that I need to be careful, like there's one behind, like one will spawn behind me or something. there if you might just be barely be able to see it let me grab my bow i don't know if i have any arrows aha i got arrows uh you can see it right there uh that is the thing that i'm aiming for uh this is gonna take a minute But it's very necessary that I kill this thing because it's just like the one uh, when we were in the prison of hope. Uh, it will, if I get close to it, it'll start shooting magic bolts at me. And my main weapon is the Moonlight Greatsword. So this thing is very is highly resistant to magic. So I don't want to shoot it with magic. So we're just going to sit here and shoot arrows at it until it's dead. Any second now. Oh my god, I've already put 30 arrows into this thing. It's a good thing arrows are not my main weapon. <laughs> or my main use of range attack. There we go. Because I want this. And I want this. And then I think it's behind this pillar. Um, I can't remember if it's pure black or pure white world tendency. There is a ring that should be right around here that'll help you move through 5-2 quickly. Quickly. But I can't remember... Uh, what world tendency I need to be in. And I forget the name of the ring, too, so that doesn't help. Um, but like I said, it should be right here. Yeah, if soul tendency is black. Okay, so just read the messages. Uh, I need to be in pure black world tendency to get the ring that pops up right here. Um, so we can't grab that ring just yet. Um, once we... Uh, finish up this level um, I'll probably go back to the Nexus and see how many uh, stones of ephemeral eyes I have because that's what gets you into human form uh, see how many of those I have to see if I can take um, this world and the next world um, or this world and the previous world where we fought the dragon god if I can take those two into pure black so I can uh upgrade the Moonlight Greatsword, because there is a, uh, an enemy, or a, it's, it's a demon, it's not a very tough one, but there is a demon that, uh, pops up, um, in pure, only in pure black, that will allow me to, if I kill it, I'll get the colorless demon soul, I think, and I can upgrade the Moonlight Greatsword. Where is the ramp to get back up? Because you have to take the ramp to get back up. Because even if it's 
really low. Like right over here. I can't use the climbing button to get back up, but I think I saw the elevator that I came in. So yes, right here. Like I said, we went this way, but we're gonna grab a couple items real quick. Like we're gonna grab this. Sweet, another stone of Imperial, of Imperial, ephemeral eyes. Uh, and I think we need to go this way first. Make sure we kill all the enemies and get all the items. These things are so aggravating. Cause just the noise they make is so irritating. But um, if we do have enough stone of ephemeral eyes to get the world into pure black, because um, the way you do that is you kill yourself in these worlds while in human form. So if we do have enough, uh, the colorless demon soul or the demon that I need to get to kill to upgrade my Moonlight Greatsword, it's going to be like right here. So that was the way we wanted to go first so we can go and kill them. And we can check out that ring we just picked up and take that off. Um, we got this one, increased resistance to plague. Um, we might throw that on uh, when we go to 5-2 uh, while we're chugging uh, through that swamp. It'll help us to not get poisoned as fast. Um, either that or probably just leave it off because I'm going to get poisoned anyway. And it'll take up one of my two, only two ring slots. So I don't know if I want to wear it. Oh yeah, be careful. Oh god, that thing almost pulled, pulled me off with it. Yeah, uh, these little ugly creatures, they have basically like two attacks where they'll reach over and hit you with their scorpion tail or they'll jump at you uh, like that one did to me just earlier. Uh, that's like their two main attacks. This is a good vantage point right here to see if you missed anything. And I don't think I did. Sweet. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this and go through the fog gate. And believe it or not, we are actually getting close -er to the end of this level. But um, right here, you really want to be really, really careful because they have a uh, black phantom. Um, uh, mind flayers, the little bell things that we heard in the tower uh, in the first of this level. Yeah, uh, they've got red phantom versions of them, which are super strong versions of them. Uh, so you want to be really careful. That's why I'm kind of sticking close to this wall. Because I think one will come down these stairs. Can, can you hear the bell? You can see that phantom. <laughs> that ghost character was being careful too. So like I said, I'm pretty sure there's one that comes down these stairs. Yep, there it is. You can see the glow. Yeah. Um, I don't know how far down these stairs it goes. So we're going to hide right here and see how close it comes to me. Because you want to catch them going back up the stairs so you can get that backstab. How close are you going to get to me? Oh, God, you're getting really close. Did it already turn? Okay, cool. Um, but yeah, you want to make sure you can run up behind these things and get the backstab on them. Like this. 
and then don't let it get up. Ow, it still got me. Okay, those things are a lot tougher than I remember. Uh, let's go ahead and take the spice off. I don't think I'm gonna need a refill. I got some more spice right there. Uh, like I said, I, there's only one on this staircase, I believe. Yeah, there's only one on the staircase. And uh, there is a, a lizard that I don't wanna scare off. So we're gonna stand right here. I don't think I can lock on. No, I can't. So we're going to get our bow back out. Okay. I might just keep the bow on since I can. Uh, I'm not fat rolling with it on. But um, I might need to... Uh, after I kill this thing, I'll... Um, if you're not, if you don't know how I zoom in like that, you press L1 and then uh, hold the up button or on the the up button on the directional pad. Uh, that's how I zoom in like this. Probably kill this thing before it gets over here. Oh, that was way. That was bad. That was embarrassing. Mm, I think that's it. Yeah. Uh, before I... Okay, there's another one over there, so... Sweet. For a second, I might take off my fragrant ring and put on my thief ring so I can get closer to the lizard without it, at it hearing me. Yeah, let me take off the fragrant ring real quick and put on the thief ring so I can get close to that... A uh, lizard without it hearing me. Sweet. I think they both died. Yeah, they both died. Um, so unfortunately we are going to have to go run down there and grab those. I was hoping that wouldn't happen that I could kill the the lizard. And I forgot about the stupid scorpion face thing that was on the other side of that vine. Again, not something that I need, but... I like to kill all the lizards, or try to, just in case they are holding uh, upgrade materials that I might need eventually. Um, but, oh well, we got another one. That's cool. But yeah, there's an item right here. Ooh, some more spice. Uh, this uh, level is really good for collecting spice. Um, let me put my fragrant ring back on. If I wanted to send it back to storage, I'd have to go to inventory. It's not that big a deal. Ouch. Oh, there's one behind. I forgot about that one. Fine. Be a coward. Where's the other one? Like I said, maybe I... Oh, there you are. Gotcha. Oh, that was the one that was shooting the arrows at us. Like I said, there's one more right there. I mean, it's not the only gargoyle left in this level. Uh, there's like a couple more gargoyles left. 
Uh, go to this side first uh, and grab this. And then it circles all the way around, I believe. Yeah. Uh, there's another uh, elevator right here. This one's really, really long. There it is. teamed up on. I did not remember them be there being two of them right there. Oh, uh, this is the other one. The other vine that, or the other chain that we need to uh, cut off. And that's the final chain. So this thing's gonna fall. And now it's out of the way. Yeah, it's gonna release several of those little scorpion creature things. And yes, those scorpion things were living inside of that thing. It's really gross. And then you can see right here, uh, this stairway is broken, it doesn't lead to anywhere. But uh, you circle back this way. And you can see uh, right over there is the archstone. We are back at the beginning of the level. Because the first little tower that we went up was the one that we actually needed to use to get up to the bus. So. And like I said, we are going to go back down and grab a couple of items over there. Got to deal with this stupid little scorpion things. I will apologize in this uh, playthrough so far, or Let's Play. Uh, I have mainly forgotten that I'm a mage. And I've been using a lot of uh, melee, so I figured in this episode I would try to use my magic more often. Um. And I am going to be um, getting that up, getting intelligence up, and um, my magic up, and endurance. So, um, I won't be putting any more levels into faith because I don't think um, I'm pretty sure the Moonlight Greatsword uh, scales with faith but I also think think it scales with intelligence so um, leveling up my intelligence is just a good idea ow Seriously, how did you not fall off? I seriously thought I was going to fall off right there. Uh, but now that that thing fell, we can get in here. So we're going to go this way, and it just loops around. Ooh. 
And I definitely need to get my endurance up so I can uh, swing more times with uh, my Moonlight Greatsword. But that Golden Mask is what we came in here for, and the Ring of Avarice is really good. Uh, that gold mask, we can use it to trade with Snuggly to get another uh, colorless human soul. And then obviously the soul items and the stones. Um, but the Ring of Avar Avarice is really cool. Um, if you put it on, you can get um, enemies. Uh, and stuff will uh, drop more souls. I don't know if it works on bosses, but I know re uh, regular enemies will drop more souls. And uh, that's it for this level. Um, but we're gonna go fight the boss now. So we're gonna take off the crescent moon grass and put on the half moon and the late moon. Because those are gonna be more useful to us fighting the boss. And I will let y'all know that the next boss that we're going to fight, I'm not great at it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and take that off. Um, I might try to shoot some magic at it. So I'm going to keep my uh, staff on. I think it's a staff, isn't it? Or the catalyst. I'm going to keep the catalyst on. Because at some point I might try to shoot the boss with magic. Because um, I believe it's pretty weak to magic. Um... But if I am having problems with this boss fight, I'll probably take the Moonlight Greatsword off and trade it out for the Uji Katana so I can have something that swings a little bit more quickly and that uh, I can swing it more often without running out of stamina because I'm going to have to... Uh, you're gonna For this boss fight, you're going to want to make sure your rolls are on point. So... Come back here. Grab that. And on this staircase, there is another one of those uh, Red Phantom Mind Players. You can see it's up there. So I think if I stop here, um, it won't notice me. Because I'm going to wait for it to come back down and start going back up the stairs so I can run behind it and kill it. And if I do it at the right angle, I can knock it off, too. But I think if I stop here, I'm close enough to be able to run up behind it and grab and uh, hit it without it noticing me. Because if it notices me, I'm going to run away. Oh, God. Okay. I'm going to run up. Run up a little bit. Got it. Sweet. Um, I will admit I am playing online, but um, for the last final boss of this area, which I'm going to see if I can get to today, um, I want to be offline for because I don't want to fight the... Uh, it's a very special boss. It's a PvP, uh, which is player versus player boss. Uh, I don't want to fight another player. Uh, I'd rather just fight the uh, PvE version, which is the player versus enemy. I'd rather just fight, uh, fight the one that the that it's not another player. The one that's a uh, non-player is much easier, and I have always been terrible at uh, PvP. So if I ever get invaded. Uh, I uh, almost always lose because I'm so bad at PvP. Uh, but yeah. I got my heals. Got my sword. Uh, I think we're ready. 
the man eater. There's two of these things. Uh, my advice is to get behind it. Cause it'll do that. It'll do a charge. And if you're not careful, it'll knock you off the ledge. So yeah, avoid the charges and watch out for the little beam it shoots. But yeah, you gotta really watch out for those charges because those charges can knock you off. This is why I thought about having magic because it'll do that. Because it's gonna do that. It'll run away. And sometimes it might not come back. Are you stuck? It might be stuck. Uh, sometimes this boss uh, will bug out and it'll get stuck underneath the bridge. I'm not killing this thing as fast as I wanted to. See, it's... Uh, if, if I do have to fight two of these things, uh, I'll show y'all how it's done. Because I think I'm going to have to. The way this fight's going. Yeah, I'm going to have to fight two of these things at one time. Uh, I'll show y'all how to do that. Basically what you want to do is keep distance and kind of uh, kite them around this middle area. So like, this one's going to come to this side. You can uh, fight it and kind of try to lock on yeah try to keep an eye on them it's gonna be kind of hard but I think they got me yeah they got me Uh, yeah, like I said, I am not good at this fight. Uh, we're going to try it with the Uji Katana. Um, but yeah, I am not good at this fight. So, it might take me a couple tries. Uh, you can just ignore the gargoyles. Uh, when you're running back to the boss, just kind of ignore the gargoyles, and you can... Damn it. I just lost 10,000 souls. Uh. Damn it. I thought I could roll past that thing. Uh, I guess I can't. Um, so ignore the gargoyles, but you know, don't ignore the stupid little scorpion critters. <sighs> Fuck. I needed those the I needed those ten thousand souls. I really did to level up. My memory got messed up. Uh, that gargoyle that plops down—that's the one that you can just run around to the side of. I forgot that you have to kill the little scorpion things because they're so fat that they cover up the whole walkway. So, that's unfortunate. Now I'm a little salty. And every single time you have to, you die, you have to run up again to fight this boss. Uh, you have to deal with this stupid uh, black phantom You have to deal with the Black Phantom Mind Flares. Or this Black Phantom Mind Flare every single time you die at the boss and you have to run back up to it. Just wait for it to turn back around. You didn't notice me. There. 
Uh, you don't have to kill it every time. Uh, if you hit it once and you get the backstab, you can unlock and just run past it if it gives you enough space to. Ugh, I really hate that I lost all those souls. That's really aggravating. Run to. Like I said, try to get behind it. Oh, that's my best advice. But, uh, still try to be aggressive and put in damage. Definitely watch out for the fist slams. Ow. Stand still, sir. Right, there's two of them now, so... Uh, try to keep um, an eye on the one that has the least amount of health. Um, you can kind of do that by testing it. So uh, that one is the one you kind of want to focus on. The one that's throwing a hissy fit right now. No, 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 no. Oh, damn it. I was so close. Uh, I got a little too greedy and I got hit with the charge. I was trying to kill it before it charged at me. Uh, don't get greedy. Uh, sorry I wasn't talking during that fight. I was trying to concentrate. Because uh, managing two of those things is tough. Because you want to, like I said, you want to try to keep an eye on the one that you're fighting. Uh, but you also have to keep an eye on the one that... Um, you have to keep an eye on the second one. I don't... That's item. But like I said, you have to keep an eye on the second one so you don't get hit by it. But you also want to keep your health up. Just in case you do get hit. And the reason I say try to fight him in that middle that middle section, uh, it's there's a little bit more space. Um, like I said, the reason I got hit, uh, I got knocked off, is because I was on the the bridge part, not the little circular part, and I got greedy. If I would have just smacked it a couple times and backed off, back into the middle, I could have wait, I could have wait for it to come back down.
Yeah, don't stand right, uh, like, right here, because then it will notice you. So kind of uh, stand behind it a little bit. Oh, God, I didn't get the backstab. But I did hit it enough to cause bleed, so... Maybe it'll bleed out. That's gonna forget me. That's nice. Okay, I smacked it enough to move it off to the side. Because in all honesty, you do not want to fight these things on this staircase. Because if they get off that little explosion that they do, oh, it's going to 100% knock you off. All right, maybe the third time's a charm. And let's try this two-handed. Maybe I can do a little bit more damage with this thing two-handed. With my Ojigatana two-handed. Oh yeah, that's fantastic. Doing about 108 damage per hit. That is pretty good. I need you to come back down here, sir. Ow. Be careful, they do have a, a magic attack. Sir, I'm gonna need you to come back down here so I can kick your ass. Or you're gonna kick mine, that's cool too. Did they get me? <sighs> yeah, they got me. They got me with the fucking charge again. Ugh. I did tell y'all that I was not very good at this fight, right? I tend to uh, uh, struggle more with this boss fight than I do with Flame Lurker, and a lot of people say that Flame Lurker is harder. Um, I disagree. I think that the Man Eaters are harder. It's harder than Flame Lurker, but. If you do ask people who have played Demon Souls, uh, Flame Lurker and the Man Eaters are probably uh, in their top two uh, hardest boss fights. If I can just do what I did in that second boss fight but not get greedy, I can do this. Because I really don't want to spend one whole episode trying to kill one boss. But if I don't kill it in this video, I will make another one of me trying to fight it and, try, and trying to beat it. Um... If I can't beat it in two videos, uh, uh, I'll just record the video. I'll just upload the video that I make of me actually beating it. I'm not going to make y'all sit through two hours of me trying to beat one boss. That is not quality content. <laughs> I'm pretty sure y'all watching me take this boss on for the fourth time is not fun content. Oh, I've only got five minutes left. Uh, let's try one more time. Like I said, don't lock onto its tail. Lock onto the body. Uh, the body is easier to hit. And yes, if, even if you're behind it, the charge will still get you. This is, fight is also a little bit of RNG base. If you can get him doing the melee more, 
then flying away. No, 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 no. Do not kill me. I've almost got y'all beat. Okay, that's not the one I want. This is the one I want. Yes. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, this fight gets a lot easier when you don't have to fight two of them. You can just focus on one. Where are you? I need you to stay down here so I can beat you in the next couple minutes. Ow. Like I said, if you need a heal, try to um, block it by, by the little flame thing. Do not let it get the little uh, green glow off because that is it. Uh, powering up so try not to let it get the glow off I'm only gonna do a couple hits and then do uh, dodge it ooh No, no, no. Get back here. You get down here. I want to be careful with me. Um, you want to be careful with you locking onto it. Because, um, and it's pretty useful to have a weapon that can swing overhead. do that. No, stop it. I only have a few seconds. Get back down here. I'm going to be really quick about this um, before I run out of time. But there is an item right here. Uh, that's the only item, I believe. Oh, no, there's a few more items. Uh, they're on the pillar. They're on the pillars. Run before I run out of time. Uh, there's an item right here. And I believe that's it. And I will catch you all in the next episode.